Lunar Month is a yearly celebration that happen during the seven lunar months of the Chinese lunar calendar, and these traditions is to honor the family members who have passed away. And the Ghost Month is celebrated by many Chinese people around the world, so not just in Singapore. This festival also celebrated in China, Malaysia, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Vietnam. So these traditions, guys, is originated from Taoism and Buddhism beliefs. So this year, Ghost Month is happening from 29th of July to 26th of August, and the peak of the celebrations will be on the 15th day, and we call this as the Hungry Ghost Festival or Tongyuan Jie in Mandarin. So guys, during this ghost month, the Chinese people believe that the gates of hell are opened and all the ghosts and the spirits are released. They are free to visit us in the human world. And these spirits are so commonly known as the Hungry Ghost Festival. The story behind this is because so many Chinese people believe that during this ghost month, there are so many hungry and unhappy ghosts wandering around. And these kind of ghosts do not have the family members to take care of them or to make offering for them or they just simply died because of unfortunate events. So guys, to appease this kind of hungry and unhappy ghost, the Chinese people believe they have to make the food offering to satisfy the ghost, to make them happy and the ghost will not disturb the humans. That's why when you visit Singapore during this ghost month period, if you walk around neighborhood area, you will see there are so many offerings for the ghost. You can see from the food offering such as the small pyramids of orange, their rice, also sometimes you can see the roasted pork or chicken. And another type of offering for the ghosts during these ghost months, the Chinese people will also do the burning offering. So for the burning offering, normally the Chinese people will burn incense, joss paper, or any replicas of houses, car, or even outfits. You know. So because the Chinese people believe that when you burn something, the smoke can rise to the afterlife, and the ghosts and the spirits can enjoy that. And the offering is not only placed at the altar, but you can see by the roadside on the street, along the public corridor, and even under the trees. One of the highlights of the Hungry Ghost Festival in Singapore during the ghost months, if you're visiting the neighborhood area, you will see the live performance set up to entertain the ghosts. We call this live show as a getai. So in the past, getai used to be a stage for the live performance of Chinese operas or the puppet shows, with the majority of songs performed in dialects such as Hokkien's. But now, in modern day, the getai has evolved to include the modern pop song like Chinese song and even the Korean song. So, the unique thing during the getai show, you will see the first row of the seat is always empty. You know why? Because during the getai show, the front row seats are usually reserved for the spirits. So guys, please remember, if you come to any getai show, please do not sit in the first row, okay? The Chinese people believe that during this ghost month is considered unlucky periods for them. So there are a lot of rules that they need to follow in order to avoid any bad luck happen to us. The first thing that you need to remember is don't ever disturb the ghost offering. Don't touch it. Don't even step on it. So in the event that you accidentally step on it, make sure that you apologize right away. Otherwise, the ghost may get offended and cause a problem to you and follow you home. Do not kill any insect inside your home. It is believed that the insect in your house is your ancestor or your deceased family and relatives that come back to visit you during these ghost months. Don't move into your new house or renovate your house. So it is best to avoid moving into your new house during these ghost months as it would invite the unclean spirits and bad luck into your new house. The next one, avoid any wedding celebrations. The next one, don't swim at night because during this ghost month period, there are so many spirits in the water which can try to drown you. Don't wear any red color because the hungry ghosts are believed to be attracted to this color. No whistling at night. Whistling at night, not just in Chinese culture, it is believed to attract bad luck or evil spirits. Please remember, don't hang your clothes outside during the night time, because the ghost may try your clothes and bring the negative energy to your house. 
So guys, the Hungry Ghost Festival may be associated with all things spooky, but for Chinese people, the moral story of the Hungry Ghost Festival is also a time to honor our ancestors, to thank them for their life lessons. During this period, the Chinese people will get together to prepare tables of food offering and pray together. Family is very important. It's also another moral story that we can learn from the Ghost Month Festival.